Today's morning minute, kingdom living is confessing the word. What you confess, you will possess. What you confess, you will possess. What are you speaking? For out of the overflow of your heart, your mouth speaks. What is in your heart will come out of your mouth in a confession, profession, and through your words. Words are powerful. The word Jesus, the word Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us. We are word beings made in Christ Jesus. God said word. God said word and spoke spoke mankind into his image and likeness, which is an eternal, eternal spirit being with the character of love. Meditate on the following scripture in order to identify your confession being able to stand now. Stand now as accepted by God. And we read in Romans 10 verses 9 and 10 in the Amplified. Because if you acknowledge, acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe where? In your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification, that is being made righteous, being freed of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God. And with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith, his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. Where is the place of your belief? The place of your belief is in your heart. What is the result of your belief? The result of your belief is salvation. Right believing will lead to right living. Imagine a worry-free, abundant life with no fear or anxiety or sickness. What are the two results of your confession? Your confession of Jesus Christ as Lord results in your one, justification, that is being made righteous, being freed of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God. And then two, confirmation of your salvation. What you confess, you will possess. Possess your promised rest of righteousness in Christ Jesus. Possess your right standing with God. Kingdom living is confessing the Word of God living in you through the Holy Spirit. All, all the legal rights and privileges of the kingdom of God are yours now. Amen and amen.